Are you struggling to do keyword research? Hey there, I'm Brady with brandbuilders.io. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do keyword research for affiliate marketers. These are the same tactics we've used to take sites from zero all the way to two million views per year and over $15,000 per month in affiliate income. Hit the like and subscribe buttons below and keep watching. We use a tool called Ahrefs to do our keyword research, but any other tool is fine as long as you can see the search engine results page at the same time as you can see keywords. You'll see what I mean in just a second. So I know that KW Finder and Uber Suggest both have that feature and both are fine. Um, so what we start our keyword research with is what we call seed keywords. So these are the most basic terms that your audience might be looking for. So if I'm in the mattress niche, my audience might be searching for something like mattress, pillow, bed, or mattress topper. So we're gonna search those in Ahrefs. There's no exact number you need to have. I say anywhere between like two and 10 is fine. And then once you have those, we want to see all the keyword ideas. Now this might be different in each tool, but in Ahrefs it literally says all keyword ideas. So now we have over 6 million keywords. So we need to do some serious filtering. So since we're affiliate marketers, most of our keywords are going to be in like best of or uh, reviews or something like that. So what I wanna do is first I wanna make sure that Ahrefs is including keywords that have best or review in them. But I also wanna make sure that these keywords are long tail. Long tail keywords, if you don't know, are just longer. They have lower search volume, but that means lower competition, so it's easier for us to rank. So I'm gonna set my minimum word count to three. And then I wanna make sure that I'm not just wasting my time on tons and tons and tons of competitive keywords. I've still got 175 plus thousand here, so I can afford to do some serious filtering. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the keyword difficulty to a maximum of, of 10. So that's not a bad move if you're a new site or if you're an existing site. Um, you can break those into sections, so like zero to 10, 10 to 40, 40 plus, or something like that. And then you can see here, we have a lot of results that are not really helpful to us. So I'm gonna go ahead and exclude Include these from our results. So Best Buy, we're not going to be using any of those keywords, don't need them. And then if you still have a bunch of keywords, so over 5,000 is still quite a few, I like to have my list at say under 1,000 or under 500. The, the narrower you can get it, um, it tends to give you a little bit less work to do there. So what I like to do is I like to filter for clicks per search. This makes sure that Google isn't stealing your click real estate with featured snippets. Um, so when people search terms like best king size mattress, they're clicking on an average of 1.24 results. So this is uh, just making sure that even if you do rank you are for sure going to get clicks. I like to put this at a minimum of 0.75, um, but if you don't have many keywords, then I wouldn't worry about this step. And then if you really wanna filter, 0.9 is fine too. So now we have a list of 368 keywords. That's a lot easier to manage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start going through the search engine results here. And this is why I say it's so important to have a keyword research tool that allows you to see the SERPs at the same time that you are looking at the keywords. So what we're gonna look for in the SERPs is uh, a range of competition. So if you're a new site, what I like to see, and this is what I recommend to all of our clients, what we do for our personal new sites, because um, we at Brand Builders own sites and run them, is, so for a new site, for a new uh, site that's working on keywords, is I like to see two websites on the front page of Google with domain rating under 25. So this is really not a great keyword for me. If I'm in the mattress niche, I don't think I wanna target best mattress topper for back pain. There's one keyword below 25, but none of the rest of these are, and some of them are actually quite authoritative. 57, 48 is pretty big, 69 and 70 are both uh, way out of my range, not interested in that. If your domain rating is higher than zero, so if you are an existing site, then I would kind of put that range at probably plus five or plus 10 of whatever your domain rating is. So if your domain rating 30, this all of a sudden becomes a much more reasonable keyword for your level of competition. Because you've got one person that's under you, they're 23, you're 30, one person is right in your range, and then another is still pretty close. So if you have an authoritative website, then I would put that range a little higher, but for new sites, we like to see domain rating under 25. So let's keep searching manually through a couple of these keywords. I'm just gonna go ahead and open several of them. Okay, and let's just start at the top. So right off the bat, I'm gonna say this is way too competitive, so best pillow for stomach sleepers. Not interested in this, way too strong sites for me. Also with this, I don't know what the keyword is, best match for stomach sleepers, no thank you. Okay, now this is a keyword that I think would be a cool target for a new site. Best mattress topper for side sleepers. We see several of the sites that are higher in the SERPs do have 
stronger domain rating. So we're probably not going to rank super high for this keyword. But you see at the very bottom of the SERP, domain rating 9, 22, and 26. Now that's right outside of our range, but I'm going to fudge a little bit. So this keyword is pretty cool. And once you find a keyword with domain ratings that you like, you want to make sure that the weaker websites on here are not ranking due to having a large number of backlinks. So for this best mattress topper for side sleepers keyword, we love the domain ratings here, like we got a 9, a 22, a 26, which is right outside of our range, but that's okay. But are these ranking due to lots of backlinks? So you can see here on Ahrefs, and I believe on Hunter.io, maybe Uber suggests as well, that the number 9 doesn't have any referring domains. The 22 has 4, which is a little bit, but not too many. And then the 26 doesn't have any. The rest of the sites here are pretty low. It's, it's, it's an environment that I would feel comfortable competing in. So whenever you find a keyword, you just want to run it through that quick check of what are the domain ratings, and then are any of the low domain ratings ranking just because they have a lot of backlinks and that's something you'll need to factor in if they do have a bunch of backlinks then you're going to have to be prepared to bring your backlinking game so what i like to do is once i find a list of keywords that i like i'm going to go ahead and close the serps on a couple of these is i like to select them like so and then i'm just going to select a few of these at random so you can see this work i like to add these to a list what adding them to the list does is Ahrefs shows you that you have already targeted these keywords. And you can see we've, we've got several lists. But when whenever you're doing keyword research in the future, you can see this little check mark beside the keyword. And that lets you know, hey, I've already targeted this keyword. I'm already going at it. I don't need to do it again. What you can do if you would like, and what I do for my sites, is I make a list of keywords to do, and I just name that the name of my site and then the number of keywords that we've completed. Now this helps me kind of filter through, like what do we still need to do? What have we already done? But it keeps the check mark in place whenever I'm doing future keyword research. So if you ha are having trouble figuring out these seed keywords, there's a workaround. So what I'm going to do is open this site explorer and then open the keyword explorer in another tab. And then I'm going to open just a blank Google page, uh, just the blank Google search bar. And what you can do to get your seed keywords is search something like just your niche. And if you want to, you could do something like best and then your niche. So for my niche, I'm going to do, um, I'm just gonna say best mattress. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to see who comes up. So let me scroll down a bit to get past all of the stuff I don't want. And then you want to find a site that's not too competitive. So best mattress is not the best keyword. What I think might be a better idea is to put in best and then a niche word and then let Google kind of auto complete it. So let me search best mattresses for side sleepers. And that's going to give me some better. Yeah, here we go. Some better sites. The one thing you want to look out for is just making sure that these sites aren't crazy famous. So the wire cutter, business insider, anything that's that's that you know the name of means that that's probably a keyword that's too competitive for you. So what you can do is you can take Take these sites and I'm just going to take the root URL I'm going to copy this and then put it in href site explorer and then we just want the root domain what you can do is you can pull these up in Ahrefs or KW Finder or Uber Suggest to an extent, and you can see what keywords these sites are ranking for. Now, this is the perfect way to get your seed keywords. So since we're affiliate marketers, we want to target keywords that say best or review, and we want to make sure, see any is fine there. And then we can even do some light filtering. I recommend keeping these to say like the top eight to make sure they're on the first page of Google. And then let's go ahead and put the word count at three, just so that we know that we are targeting longer keywords. And here we go. Here are some seed keywords for us. What you can do is you can copy these and paste them in the Keyword Explorer, and you are off to the races. Thanks so much for watching. If you want our standard operating procedures for how we do keyword research, please scroll down below. We have that for you. And don't forget to hit the like, subscribe buttons, and I hope to see you soon. Bye now.